How to Read an EPD An EPD contains lots of information. Sorry, could you keep it brief? Sure, here we go. An EPD contains five types of information. One, general information. Two, product information. Three, information about the methodology used for the life cycle assessment, the LCA. Four, LCA results. And five, an analysis of the LCA results. Let's use the EPD for Planet Clear Glass as an example. One, general information about the EPD. The cover sheet contains information including the name of the product in question, here it's SGG PlaniClear, the thickness concerned, here it's 2 mm to 19 mm, the document's expiry date, an EPD is valid for five years, the fact that the EPD has been verified. This information can also be found inside the document. Two. Information about the product. This page is a summary of the characteristics and performance of the product assessed. Three, information about the methodology used for the life cycle assessment, the LCA. This tells us that, one, the functional unit is meter square. This can vary depending on the product. For glazing, the functional unit is always meter square. 2. The boundaries covered by the LCA. In other words, the stages of the life cycle covered by the assessment. Here, it's cradle to gate, which means from the extraction of the raw materials to the factory gate. It does not therefore include transport, transformation, use, and end of life of the glazing. This is very common for glazing as it's impossible to determine in advance the exact life cycle of the sheets of glass produced by our factories, and also because the manufacturing stage represents the most important part of the impacts. Three, more detailed information on the manufacturing stage. A description of each of the industrial processes necessary to manufacture the product and included in the LCA. Four, LCA results. An EPD can present LCAs for more than one product. You'll find a full list in the contents. Here, the EPD applies to the Planet Clear thickness as mentioned. LCA results are presented in table format. In the top left, the product name. There is a column for each life cycle stage defined by the standard orange, from raw materials to manufacture in our factories, Turquoise, the construction process stage. Purple, the use stage. Red, end of life stage, deconstruction, demolition. Blue, product recycling, if it happens. Each line presents the different impacts considered. Emissions, energy and water consumption, waste production and consumption, and potential reuse of resources so the impact of each stage is outlined. How to read the results. How much CO2 is emitted in the manufacture of one meter square of Planet Clear two millimeter? This is shown under global warming potential. It's 5.93 kilograms of CO2 equivalent per functional unit. So to produce one meter square of SGG Planet Clear two millimeter, we emit 5.93 kilograms of CO2 equivalent. How do we know the end-of-life CO2 impact of our planning clear? It's impossible to say because our LCA is cradle to gate, which means impacts are not calculated beyond the manufacturing stage. 5. An analysis of the LCA results. At the end of the document, there is a summary of major impacts, the energy consumed by the kiln, and the impacts associated with the production of one of the raw materials, sodium carbonate. The final pages present further information about our environmental objectives, which might be worth mentioning to your customers.